Hi everybody. This, I just made a different video <coughs> because I was doing this. I was working on, I was working on this and then I said, okay, I'm going to quit now and I'm going to, but then I started sewing this rope on, but then my thumb, my arthritic thumb, it started giving me trouble. Oh, I did go and um, empty the dishwasher and I mopped the kitchen floor and I um, wiped down all the cupboards. So I did do something. So my energy drink helped me there. And so <coughs> now my thumb, I guess I got the arthritis right here in my thumb. Usually it just hurts and goes away. But this time it hurted really bad. I thought I was going to like die from it. So I put this tiger balm on there. Pain relieving ointment. Ultra strength. Yeah. I put that on there. And it seems like it's feeling some better. So. I thought that maybe I would want to. Like. I might want to just kind of doodle. And so I thought I'd bring you along. Now, see, I turned on the computer. I mean, the camera. I don't know that I'll leave the camera on. And I don't know if I will actually, if I will actually, um, even, if I'll even, um, put this here video up. But see, my friend... Lottie Faith, Lottie Faith, boy, am I getting confused. That is 1023. Oh, man, I'm losing my mind. My mind is getting missing. Well, um, she's got a real name. Oh, man. Andy, Andy, A-N-D-I, there, okay, now I'll remember, she sent me this, and, but when I looked at this first page here, see, this is going to go inside my journal, my traveler's journal, but it's not inside there yet, because the reason is because I saw this image here, and what popped out at me was this unicorn now it might not look much like a unicorn to everyone else but it does look like a unicorn to me and I I'm a unicorn expert. So what I'm going to do, see, because you can see her mane. You know, she's like a she's like a hiding unicorn right now. And so she's, you know, her mane is there. And but she's she's got something here in her hand. And I'm not sure. First, I thought she was drinking something, but I don't think so. I think it's a trophy of some kind. And I'm sure there is some reason why, why unicorns get trophies. I'm sure that they have... I need my eraser. This this eraser is not a flipping. This re eraser is not any good. I like my white eraser, but don't know what it is. Because I put his ears and stuff. His ears have to be back here. Right there. This one. There we go. And then this one. Right here. Now it looks like he's got four ears, but he doesn't. Hang on a minute. I gotta go see if I can find my eraser at the other table real quick. 
real quick. I'm getting the monitor ready. I'm getting it. I have to walk around to this other table. This is my drawing table right here. And it's got everything except the kitchen sink over here on this table. And there's my eraser. Yay! My eraser. Yay for my eraser. Now. Okay. I'm coming back now. I'm coming back with my eraser. Okay, now. I brought my watercolors with me too, just in case I need them. I might need them. Because this here is a four-eared unicorn right now, and so I get rid of a couple of them ears. And then his unicorn isn't going to be right there. i got to get that in the right place now. Now, Elizabeth and Marie will get them, get them unicorn ears. Well, they do have to be kind of pointy, don't they? Because they stick up so that the unicorn can hear the other unicorns. And so then, I think then his little unicorn horn will be like this there we go and then see we see the the colors coming down from his mane this is his mane here i think this is a trophy i think he was probably in a unicorn parade or something and he probably had the prettiest unicorn horn. Or maybe maybe she had her hair braided into a beautiful... Now let me see if I can... Give her an eye here. I don't want her to have an ugly eye. I want her to have a nice eye. Let me see. Yeah. I think she needs to have a green eye. That's not very good green. Wait a minute. Let me check and see if... Maybe I should use this green. Maybe I should use this green. Let me see. Because she, I think she should have a green eye. I think she needs green eyes. I think most unicorns have Green eyes. Some have purple eyes. This one's got, oh, it's green. See that? That's pretty. That's pretty full. Well, let's see what I didn't bring over here was, oh, I'll use this baby white. It'll work. Gosh, that stuff smells good. That tiger balm. That smells good. Now, for her horn, look at how pretty she is. Now, should I do her horn? No. I think I'll do, let me get a little bit of her, um, gotta get a little bit of her, um, her hair taken care of here. Let me see. Yeah. Let me get a little of her hair taken care of here. And she has um multicolored hair. It's 
multicolor. I lost one of my pink things. And actually, I think I know where it is. I think it's underneath my table. It's one of my red ones, too, in which I need, like right now. Oh, I should be using this one. Okay. You know what? Who I, I um. I would have never known that there was images hiding within images if it wasn't for Secret Soto. Secret Soto has got. She's the um. She's the crafting birdie. And if it wasn't for her, I would not know that there was images hiding within and they're only waiting to come out to be found. She has found the most awesome images in her in her in her um painty papers and then she she colors them she brings them out she finds she finds them I mean she finds them I don't know she just she looks in there and so after I watched her then I started looking at painty papers myself and I said you know what She's right. There is images hiding in the painty papers. You just have to look for them. And sometimes you don't hardly have to look. And they just pop out. They just pop. They just pop right out. So, then you take them and you just have to you just have to um, help them. You just have to help them. You just have to help them find life. To help them find life. And um, that's not hard to do. Finding life is not hard to do when you're looking at um, the images that come out of out of um, the painty papers. Now, do I sound funny? I'm thinking I'm sounding funny. Let me see. I gotta find my other red. Actually, I've got new paints. I got new paints, but why am I afraid to use them? I don't know. I got new ones. I got new. Um, what are they called? They're. Mm. I got them from Deborah. And they're beautiful colors. And they're. And I forgot the name brand of them. But they are beautiful. I need to use them. I need, I need to really use them because. What are they? Oh gosh. I was just showing you that my that memory. I know. I wish I'm thinking, you know, fifty years from now, there'll be a way that the doctors can add more memory into brains. They'll figure out a way. I'm sure they'll figure out a way to add more memory because if you can add more memory to a computer and if you can send a man to the moon, then there has to be a way that it can add more memory to a brain. So, yeah, let me try, let me try, let me see, we need purple. And pink. I wonder if purple and pink will work. Because I want to fix my unicorn horn.
if I can do that. I want to make it purple and pink. Although the pink and purple, you know what? I don't know. Maybe I have to outline it. I see I'm not an artist at all. I'm not an artist. I try to pretend I am. Hmm, that's better. Now, look at him. Why do I keep calling it a him? This must be a boy unicorn. But you know, all unicorns are gorgeous. Oh, Jane Davenport. I just seen it on my, on my pen. It's a fountain pen. I got that from my friend Deborah too. Jane Davenport. That's my other inks, my paints that I have. And um, I love that pen. Now see, he needs to have there. Aww. I love him. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? I hope I didn't make his ears too big. I don't think they're too big, though. There he is. <gasps> I am loving him. Now this, this is definitely a trophy of some kind. Now, I'm going to have to pay it more attention and see what comes to mind. Because I do believe that's a trophy. And so... And he's holding on to his trophy. He's got an awful short leg there. But it's okay. Short legs, we're not going to make fun of him just because his leg is short. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to think or what to even. But there he is. There he is. He's beautiful. Yeah, he's beautiful. And here we'll hang some hearts. I like to just doodle. Do you all like to just doodle? I do. I just, you know, and even if things don't turn out like a photograph, it's just doodling and it's pretty and it puts your mind at ease. It puts my mind at ease. Where did I put my... Oh, there's my eraser. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't have done it in pencil first. I should have just did it in the pen. Okay, now. Now I wonder if I can color in my hearts. I have to do some more work on my... um on my unicorn, but not right now. Right now I'm putting these hearts on.
there. Now, let me see. Here we go now. See this? It's not going to go to an art contest or anything like that, so we don't have to worry about that. So then we'll just. Um, We'll put some flowers down here. Um, I don't know how to draw flowers, so I'm going to just pretend I do. So I just mix some petals and just keep going around till it's filled up. There we go. That's a good flower. There we go. See? See, Andy? Do it like that. Yep, it's Andy. Somebody said you should always one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this one needs one more. Somebody says you should always have an odd number of petals on a flower. An odd number. Now, I don't know if that's always true, but I'm putting an odd number of petals on these flowers. So five is an odd number. I probably really ought to go to bed. I probably wouldn't fall asleep, though, because of the large amount of caffeine that is in my body from my energy drink that I shouldn't have drinked. I shouldn't have drunk it. So instead... I'm just, I might just stay up because my grandson's going to be here in the morning because there's no school tomorrow at his school. So he, he will be here hanging out with me and his papa. And some of my pencils are missing. Let me see. But I do need, oh gosh, that's some. Um, That's what all you young people have to look forward to when you get all, like, growed up and wrinkled. It's that Arthur, that dude named Arthur. He comes and causes us heartache. Well, not heartache, but pains in our joints. <laughs> pains in our joints. So I just got to color these flowers. Let's see. Let me have this one now. This one will work. These are Derwent watercolor pencils. So if I... I could dip them in water before I color with them and they would probably be brighter. Or I can take a wet brush when I'm finished coloring and I could and then they would be brighter or I could take a white wet brush and just toot, 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 toot on the lid and then they would be brighter 
and um, then I'm just putting it on dry so I can have different color flowers here because um, unicorns like flowers and they like hearts flowers and hearts they like them so there aren't they pretty I think they're pretty I think they're pretty now I'm gonna well, this one needs sharpened I don't have my sharpener right here though but that's okay I don't mind there's enough sticking out there to get the color I want to color just these leaves these leaves right here one leaf is a leaf two leaves is leaves yeah that's how unicorns talk anyway there we go now what do you think so far I now I have to I have to work on um, figuring out what the trophy is for. But I'm going to figure that out. Sometimes it takes, takes time to, to decide and actually understand unicorns because they are quite complex. And so it takes a little time to, um, to figure them out. Now, see, I have to see if I can, I got some other colored pencils as well. I don't know. Cause I got to do something. I have to do something with his his horn because I've got to make it better and then oh then I have to do something with his ears too but I like his eye I think his eyes pretty I like this pen this pen is called the ink incredible pen ink ink but it's a it's a fountain pen and you put a cartridge inside with the ink in it and then the ink comes out the end I like it a lot but they said you should um, not store it this way you should store so I always just leave it laying down I think I read that in the directions what do you think so far though do you think that this is this is awesome Awesome, like an apple blossom. Maybe I am an artist. I'm gonna be. It. I'm just gonna just say I'm an artist. Who's gonna argue with me, right? Who's gonna argue with me? You know, since I'm gonna let this, since I'm going to leave this till I can think some more. My, because my thinker is off kilter right now. I'm gonna just. The heck is this thread? I'm gonna um I'm going to put some glimmer. I'm gonna put some this is stickles crystal. Crystal colored stickles because you know what? Everything should have some glitter, especially when it comes to unicorns. So this unicorn needs to have glitter in her hair. Oh, now I'm just calling it a her. So I don't know if it's going to end up being a her or a he. Actually, I don't know if unicorns are actually one or the other. I think they might be just regular. I think they might just be regular. I'm not going to put anything on, on its horn yet because, because um, I'm going to fix that horn. But I'm not going to fix it right now. I'm going to fix it the next time I come to this here book. So, Andy, what do you think? Leave me a message. I know you're watching. I know you're watching. 
And look at them flowers. Now, see how pretty because I gave them a little bit of, of sparkle in the middle. Gosh, I can't even turn my thumb. Whew. Hopefully tomorrow it feels better because i got to finish stitching on my, my journal right here. But see, I jump from one something to another really quickly. I um, just, I have so many things that I do back and forth. So I've always got something to do. So if my thumb hurts, boy, I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. See, his, his little leg goes down like that there. Yeah. I'm not going to mess with him anymore tonight because I know I need to get some glitter in his eye. What I think, I've got a clear wink of Stella pen, but it's over at the other table too. I'm going to get that later and fix the white. I'm going to use the white and and put it in his eye. But see, that unicorn was there the whole time. It was just kind of like hiding. And now, look at him. And that's just the beginning. That is just the beginning. I pulled that unicorn right out. Maybe this unicorn is holding like a bouquet of flowers. Maybe there's flowers in there. Do you see anything? I love this. I love it. And I love it to pieces. And so that is the first page that I'm working on in this book. That I love very, 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 very much. I can't tell you how many varies is on there. So that's all. That's all I'm going to tell you about that one. Oh, let me, let me, now I'm going to put that right there so I don't mess it up. Because I want to, I know I already read wisdom cards this evening on my last video, but I'm going to read three more anyway. Because it's what I do. Okay. Okay. I am willing to release the need for this condition, I take a nice deep breath and release all resistance to healing. You know what? I was just complaining about this thumb hurting and then I read this. I can take a nice deep breath and release all resistance to healing. I am willing to release the need for this condition. You know what I also see in these cards? Inspiration for art, for painting, for coloring, for creating inspiration. Okay, this one says, this world is our heaven on earth. In the new millennium of the Aquarian age, we are learning to go within to find our savior. We are the power we are looking for. Each one of us is totally linked with the universe and with life. Within. We go within to find our savior. Our savior is within us. Yes, he is. This world is our heaven on earth. And look at that. Another image I think I would like to try to recreate. And this one says, I am perfect exactly as I am. Look at that to the flowers. I'd like to draw those. Okay. I am perfect exactly as I am. If I wait until I become perfect before I love myself, I will waste my whole life. I am already perfect right here and right now. Is that wonderful? It is wonderful. 
This almost makes me cry right here. I am perfect exactly as I am. I have had my days. I'm telling you. I have had days. I have had weeks. I have had months that I wouldn't ever have said that. I would have never said that. But if I wait until I become perfect, before I love myself, I will waste my whole life. I am already perfect right here and right now. I love you guys. Thank you for coming with me. May God bless you every move you make, every step you take. And I will see you on the next video.